Good evening, everyone. We're, welcome to the Community Preservation Committee meeting, August 15th, 2023. Um, we are being recorded by Lake Cam. So let's go around like we always do and identify ourselves and who we represent. Paula Hull from the Park Commission. Nancy Buffet from the Lakeville Historical Commission. Kathleen Barrick, member at large. Nancy Yates, conservation. Michelle McEcker and Planning Board. Susan Spiel, a member at large. All right, here we are. So the first item on the agenda is the... We forgot Kathy. Oh, I'm sorry, Kathy. Kathy Murray, Planning Department. Mark Resnick, <clears throat> Planning Department. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, CPA budget review and clarification. Um, Mr. Resnick? Oh, yes, so I went up and talked to Todd um, about the, uh, and he says uh, the reason why it says negative 220 is that's just how the program spits it out, but it's really, we do have received $220,000. Um, in last year's receipts. So from uh, the collections from the 12 months ending June 30th. Um, and then um, the penalties and interest was subtracted. I did talk to Erica and she was gonna look into why that's subtracted. And you know, I think Todd and I agreed we thought that should be uh, a plus. And then, because that comes through the treasurer's office instead. So, um, and then earnings on investment, because it says negative is actually a plus. So if you, um, and so that's uh, why we're at 221.056 and 21.6. So, and hopefully at the next meeting, I'll have the final answer on that okay. other one. Okay, um, CP3 filing update, Kathleen. So I spoke with Chase at the coalition. Um, he needed to help me enroll, first of all, with username and access. And I explained, as I was going through the site, I said to him, we do not have any approved projects from town meeting votes. So he said not to enter any information on the website since nothing has been approved formally by the town meeting, and that is what is required. So um, Nancy then suggested that I verify this. Really good point, because we do not want to jeopardize our match. And Chase, uh, Chase told me that we would not jeopardize it, but still, I spoke with Todd. He was very helpful. He contacted someone at the Department of Revenue that he works with and he heard back that the CP3 form for Lakeville was updated with the notes that we do not have any formal town meeting approval projects. Um, and he said that we should be still be getting a match that would, will not jeopardize a match. So um, I'm glad we did verify with Todd. I feel better about that. Um, so that's the status and as soon as town meeting does approve a project, I will enter it on the website, uh, Chase said, enter it as soon as you have that because you have the information that's uh, current in your mind. And it's actually due next September. But he said just to, it's wise to enter it on the website as soon as you have an approval. May I ask what Chase is? Are you talking about Chase Bank? No, Chase <laughs> is the man at the coalition that I spoke oh, with. thank you. Yeah, I don't know his last <laughs> name. Yeah, oh, sorry, Chase about, Bank, sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> Chase Mack. Chase Mack from the okay. coalition. Okay. So we, we actually, so the dues that we're paying yearly goes to the coalition to help give us that information and okay. the help and the assistance. Thank you. Okay, any other discussion about any of that? No? Okay, CPA professional services. It was some question at the last meeting about the line item and the budget that was paid out for the secretary who does our minutes. So I, we 
we couldn't just really discuss it at the last meeting because it wasn't on the agenda so i put it on the agenda if anyone would like to discuss it it was um i can tell you exactly Eleven hundred dollars, is that it? Eleven hundred twenty-four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, eleven 1 hundred that we paid for, and I can't tell you exactly how many meetings we had. In the beginning, we were having quite a few meetings, and then they leveled out. But I can't give you an exact number. But um, we received the minutes and we were charged for them and I guess there was some question about it and going forward how's that gonna go well in, a, in the minutes that we're gonna be approving for September 29th it clearly says right in here Rich LaCamera stated that the town is providing secretarial ser for services and legal services and they are not charging for it and we've been charged and he also said it at the um, FEMCOM meeting when they were reviewing the warrant, when um, we were trying to approve the budget, he once again stated that any services legal or secretarial minutes would not be charged back, expenses were being absorbed by the town. Mm -hmm. So that to me is kind of a conflict. One minute we're telling, they're telling us that we're not being charged and then we get charged, so. Was that for the first year though? Well, I don't know. They never specified. Yeah. So I, I spoke to Ari about it. And his, <coughs> and his opinion is that, that one select board member can't represent what the town is. Correct, but Ari also corroborated what he said. He agreed with him at that FinCom meeting. He said, that's right. They won't okay. be charged. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> he might not remember that, but. Uh, well, so, I can tell you, he can go so, back to. 59 minutes and 37 seconds, because that's where it came up in the meeting. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then on November 22nd. Okay. Oh, those aren't the minutes. You just said on the minutes that we're approving tonight. And the second time that... The FinCom second time meeting. that it was mentioned, I just wrote down that he also said it at the FinCom meeting when they were reviewing the warrant. Okay, and where is it exactly on the ones with the September 29th that we're doing tonight? Yep. Um, let's see, one, two, the third paragraph down under our joint meeting card, it's the very last sentence. Town is probably, and that they are not charging for, okay. Can, um, can I just note that, didn't the town allocate funds to the committee and you turned them down? Because I think, Nancy, you had said that you told the town that it wasn't going to cost them a dime that you were going to, and that was the point of doing your budget earlier, like as soon as you could at the fall town meeting. Right. That wasn't me, though, that said that. I said. No, I, I mean, um, you had you told. You as a committee. You had told people that, you know, if you pass this, it's not going to cost you a dime. It's not going to go on the tax No. No. Okay. I never said that, but it was said. I think it was Michelle. Well, because, okay. because we, ha we do have administrative funds which we did, you know, budget for at town meeting. But, so so I guess if that's the case, anytime, so now, so they were using, they were referring to legal fees and minutes. So now, um, I guess if we're going to be charged for legal fees, I think we should be aware of that up front. Um, well, because it's just contradictory. That we were told we weren't going to be charged for minutes or, or legal fees. And then we are. And then, and, and if it was happening all along, why did it all come out at once at the end of the year rather than when each of these minutes were paid for? Right. So that, those are just the inconsistencies yeah. that mm. I think. But to clarify, Kathy, what you are talking about, yeah. in the very beginning when we first started, the town offered to give us $5,000 right. to get started. Right. And, and, I, and I just need to clarify for myself, okay. I'm like, we're crazy not to take that money. I was for taking the That's money, right. but as a committee, actually we voted to take it. And then when we had the coalition training and they came and advised us to put the budget to town meeting, we took another vote and voted 
not to take the five thousand. Okay. So to rescind the vote of taking the five thousand like dollars because we were going to have our own budget. Something like that. Well, I, right. I, I think with with the town offering the five thousand dollars, they expected that the minute costs and the other costs would have come out of that five thousand oh. dollars. And so I think that was the intent was hmm. that okay, here's five thousand. We can use it for minutes. If you have other legal stuff, if you have hmm. other printing, you know, like if we were going to print the plan, if mm -hmm. we needed any consultant, we would take it out of that 5,000. And, um, and so since we chose not to do that and appropriate our own 5,000, uh, well, 5%, that we already had our admin money allocated by uh, town meetings, so through the CPC, so that's why so here, so yeah, that's why it's coming out of here. Right. But my question now mm -hmm. yeah. that I'm thinking about it is, had we taken the five thousand dollars on September 29th? Mm -hmm. Because we, uh, we took the five thousand dollars, we voted to take the five thousand dollars. She just originally. said that, she just said that the the plan was, or maybe Resnick just said that the plan <coughs> was to take the minute the payment for the minutes out of that five thousand. Anyways. So, but that, once again, that wasn't communicated at the time. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, so. Well, I mean, it was a huge learning experience, this right. entire so, thing right. for, so it, not just this for, but I would for just everybody. say going forward, so there's not a big charge all at once. In order to review this and have something, we need to have something to match it to. We need the backup. We need to see what it's being spent on. So, you know, that way we're not, oh, we had legal fees. Oh, when did we use that? Oh, it was months ago. And. It, it just seems to be so on our well, monthly statements it sh we should have been seeing it all along like I say this is like Mark says this mm -hmm. is our first year and maybe it just didn't catch up yeah. monthly and the minutes came and I don't want to say they came sporadically but it took a while to get I think we needed to get our spot there's not a lot of people that take the minutes we don't have a lot it's hard to hire people everybody knows these days it's hard to hire people and there's only so many people, so we had to get our spot in with the people who were doing the minutes. And so our minutes came like, you know, not for a while, and then two at a time, then three at a time. And I think we're pretty much caught up except for our last meeting as far as that mm -hmm. goes. Yeah. And I'll, I'll talk to whoever, whether it's Todd or it's um, somebody else at Town Hall and find out who does the um, Counting for the minutes, you know, because that person takes minutes for multiple boards and try and get it so that it's charged off to us on a more timely basis, basis so, so that we see so you see it throughout the year. Mm -hmm. so. And can you clarify that other committees have to pay for it too? That it's charged to other committees like it is charged to the ones that have their own funding source, such as like the Parks Commission. But most of the other committees don't have separate funding sources. So you have a separate funding source. The park is a um, enterprise fund. I don't know what other. Probably the land, the transfer station. Yeah, I don't know. Do they too, have right? a? Yeah, but I don't know if they have a board or a committee overseeing it. I, yeah. Mark. Um, mm -hmm. So is the town going to honor this, or we're going to have to pay? We're going to have to pay this, and they're going to honor what they said in the beginning. Well, so I mean, what they said not it, quite yeah. fair. No, no, no. So they were going to. The town was going to fund you some admin money, so you wouldn't have to take the initial startup admin money out of yeah. the CPC monies, and then out of that there were. You were going to be able to use that for some of your expenses, but instead, we chose to they both use. Did that. Right. And so, because we chose to allocate our own admin money out of the funds that are collected, that's where the um, charges happen. That's to where the come conflict from. is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just a little confusing. That, well, well, it's. Well, it's a little disheartening. Yeah, well, I, mean, I think we need to correct the statement. In the, in the minutes, just to verify that this was incorrect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, here's another thought. Why don't we just do our own minutes and not get charged? Take turns 
dual minutes each meeting and I mean you can listen back yeah. to late cam to do them because I know you have to pay attention to the meeting but I do wouldn't have, have a, a problem. secretary um, madam chairman no chairperson no. I mean, I'm, I'm, in, I'm interested in whether it's like $100 per meeting or is it 200 like how many minutes? Right, because you don't see the breakdown. Right. We don't know how many were, was exactly. done. We don't know right. how, you know. I think it's were about these all 75, CIC meetings? I think so. mm -hmm. 75, Kathy? And I think if it's over so many hours, it's an additional right, maybe but 50. Right, because our meetings don't go that yeah. long, it was about $75. Okay. Can we <clears throat> consider um, if we're recording this? Somebody just do the minutes off so, the recording. But we're not always recording. We're not always recorded. We've been lucky. Uh -huh. But in the beginning, see you weren't here in the beginning. Can we use our recording? Our own recording? And that did not work out very well at all because when we were recording it, it's hard for, I mean, we had to learn. We were new. Yeah. And okay. I personally have never just recorded a meeting and had to do minutes off it and people weren't identifying. So I make a motion. I second it, all right. in favor, and there were no, so they didn't know who made the motion, who seconded it, and then we learned to say it the second time that we used the tape recorder. Well, that's because we were using someone else, but I mean, we all pretty much know each other's voice. Yeah. And even if we're not on Lakeham, that poses a problem for whoever re does the minutes, so I, I think it's a good idea if, you know, I'd be willing to do a set of minutes, take a turn. We could rotate. You know? Um, I will say though, so you take 1100 and you divide it by 75 and it comes out to 14.666. So either there was 14 and a half meetings that we got minutes for, or I don't know. So, so that is just another discrepancy, I guess. I, I don't, well, we were having two meetings in the beginning, two meetings a month in the beginning, you know, and we've been going for 12 months. Right, a year because we started in August. Yeah. But, but now August. I'm saying it's not an even number. So she said there's seventy five dollars per I set. Think. So yeah, it's but it's after a certain hour. Is it after an hour and a half or? Ten? I think it's after two hours. I'm not sure. Though. Okay. So I don't well, want to. We'll, we'll we'll try and get the breakdown yeah. for the next meeting. Okay. Well, yeah. are we so. going to consider having our own group do the minutes? Or? Well, the the only the only issue with that is that. You know, the select board would like some sort of consistency with the minutes and that, you know, they, they all uh, have a certain level of detail and a certain, you know, uh, style to and format to them. And that when you have lots of different people taking minutes, you know, one could be good, one could be just gloss over stuff, one could be way too detailed and like 10 pages, you know, so I've seen that with other boards and committees over the years and other places where, um, not so much boards, but, you know, volunteer committees that get the point Some of for a specific thing. Excuse so, me, Mark. Yeah. Through the chair, Templates. please. Okay. Paula, yeah. through the chair, please. Oh. Okay. This chairperson? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. No, that's okay. Um. Some of the committees have chair have uh, templates, and if we all follow the same tam template, then we should be able to do our own minutes, mm -hmm. and it would be consistent. Is well, that a problem? I mean, yeah, but when you're having discussions about certain topics, like what's important, what's not, when someone is regularly taking minutes, and they just you know, do they um, you know learn what to, what's important to include, what's not, that type of thing, you know. Um, it, it, I think the minutes have been pretty good. And I think the other, the other thing is, yeah, the minutes are pretty good. And, and so the other thing is, is, is the person who's asked to take the minutes that day, then, you know, is paying attention to taking minutes and not really participating. And you're here all to participate in the discussion and not have to sit there and Got stuff down so you know yeah. I, guess, I, I, I guess that was my point is that <laughs> I've been on plenty of committees I can't take minutes and participate in the meeting and try to take the minutes right. because then I give my opinion and by then by the time I now I'm already behind right. on taking the minutes so and as chairman I have you can ask Kathy how long it takes us sometimes to put the packets together it, you know I just I'm not interested in taking minutes 
I'm, right. I, but, I'm not either. I mean, but the person that's taking the minutes for us is watching them on Lake Cam. They're not even present at this meeting. So it's the same thing. But they have a packet. I usually send it out to the woman who's taking the minutes. I send her the information so she has an idea of what we're talking about, that she asked me to do that. So I send her the material so that she kind of and the agenda and she follows along. Right, which we have as well. Yeah. No. Anyway, so let's see. Um, I'm not interested in taking minutes. Are I'm you? not interested. I don't think it's a good idea. I think $35 an hour for minutes is a reasonable was it 35 or 75? Well, roughly, if it's, it's $75, $75 for two hours, yeah. it's about... Yeah. Is, yeah. is that a flat fee, whether yeah. we do an hour or two hours? Yes. So it's As far as that's what it used to be, so I haven't... Yeah, I remember something like that, but I didn't know if it was an hour or a flat fee up to two hours, then we get charged after that? I believe so. So it's $75, it's not 35 No, I know, I was thinking th roughly hour. 35 an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, but but we have to pay the 75 Correct. regardless yes. of whether it's an hour or Correct. two hours. Correct, yeah, I was just looking at the hour. Yeah, yeah. and how much did that cost, uh, how much would that cost us over a year? $1,100 in the budget for a year of minutes. Do we have that kind of money in the budget? I have to ask. We had $6,000 in the budget for professional services. Mm -hmm. But if the money wasn't used, it would roll back over into the reserve fund. Oh. So it would go back into the big pot. I see. Can, can we do this? Can yes. we wait till next month, if you can confirm the, pro the cost, mm -hmm. and take a vote next month? Do we need to have, what are we having a meeting for next month? Do we need to have a meeting next month? I was thinking we don't need to have a meeting. Everything's in, so. Oh, the next meeting we have. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, because town meeting in November is when we're going to make our recommendation for the money that we approved at the last meeting. So the next time we meet. The next time we meet. Yeah. Because we're already haven't made that decision, so this meeting's already spent. Well, I mean, if, if they're going to get us additional documentation anyways, I don't see the problem waiting okay. and just yeah. taking a vote at that time, because, mm -hmm. okay. you know, if maybe half of us are willing to, you know, write them, you know, a set of minutes, just, you know, out of, yeah. you know, eight or nine people, I mean, it's not going to be very often that you'd have to you know, record a set of minutes. Yeah, and if it's more than $75, that might change my mind. I didn't mm -hmm. realize it went into the reserve fund. Yeah, reserve anything fund. not so used. For right, that goes yes. back in. Yeah, right. that's a good point. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, I will put it on our next agenda. So... Okay, next. Um, this is something that Michelle asked me to put on process for accepting fu future project applications. Yeah. I think you passed something out. Yep, I did. So, so of course, leaving last, last meeting, it struck me that we just approved three projects to go to town meeting for funding. And first of all, we didn't use the checklist that we had come up with. We didn't send it to the coalition for review, and this is our first go round. And um, and I thought that it would probably be beneficial if we can come up with an actual process so that we can refer it when we have applications, just to make sure. Because you know we won't always be the same members; there'll be changeover. So that way, there'll be a process in place that anyone who needs to uh, review a project has to go off of. So I started coming up with uh, my own little um, draft here. I thought anybody, you know, can add or discuss, um, you know, any anything that you think should be added or omitted. And then I reached out to <coughs> Stuart at the coalition just to see if he had any insight. Um, 
And, and he talks a lot about the budget and, and seeing the breakdown of the budget because there may be a line item in the budget that would not be covered by CBA funds, which, so that brings up the fact that we didn't even see like an actual quotation for work. We did, like our, 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 um, our step two application, it says it right in the application, required attachments, cost proposals slash estimates. And so we didn't even see, so, cause, so I would have been on board with um, the parks item for the, for the, the um, plans if we actually, if it was only $22,000, but they were asking for 25,000 and we didn't even have a quotation. So maybe that quote would have been an actual number that falls below that 22,000, but we didn't get a quote. So now we're actually, you know, we're setting it up. We're setting a precedent that now anybody who wants money doesn't have to send. Yeah, just give a blanket amount. An estimate right. or a quotation. So um, yeah. I think this is just important to put in place going forward so that we're not sending to town meeting a project that has a round number that we're, we don't even know what the breakdown is. Like I can see with the, with the gravestones, that was pretty, uh, you know, straightforward. But it would have been nice to have it in, in writing what, because what Mark said was different than what it showed on the application even. So it would have been nice to have it all in writing, I think, <coughs> right, in and that I think, application. Well, and I also think when it goes to town meeting, we all know they want to see a breakdown of everything. They don't want to see, okay, they want $25,000 for this project. Well, what's it going to be used for? These could be all shot down because it's not showing the line items in a quote of how much each, like the septic's going to be, this is going to be, you know, each thing, instead of twenty-five thousand dollars for this project. Well, so the, <coughs> the thing is, when you budget for projects going to town meeting, usually, you know, there's a long lead time, you know, um, in in which projects are conceived, and you talk to engineers or whatever other professionals you're going to use and you get a, a budget estimate and then that's what you bring through the different committees and to town meeting because by the time you either put it out to bid or you call whoever, whoever you're going to use for that contract, prices can fluctuate up or down, costs of services, costs of materials. Um, so that's why generally um, uh, most, even all the capital items that are on town meeting are round number capital items. So um, <coughs> I think that's probably... Especially when you're looking at engineer plans, mm -hmm. right? Because wasn't that the estimate from the, engine right. that from the engineer? But we didn't see an estimate. Yeah, well, there was, there was no written estimate. You know, mm. it was based on discussions, which is what a lot of these things are. And I can say that going into the coalition website, completed projects, I started with the A's and the first town that I went into, they, they, luckily they had all their information online available. So, so they actually had a full estimate breakdown of, you know, labor, materials, everything. Because if you read from the coalition, this is what you have to see, because if it's not something allowable by CPA funds, you can have it rejected it's it may not be covered so i think going forward we just need to make sure that we're crossing all our t's and dotting our i's i thought the historic one was pretty because i had to go to miss mass historic if it makes it by mass historic um how and it's also we're only using it if it's a contingency right. if it's over sixty thousand. Right. yeah right all right so the problem I have with this is that, Michelle, you asked me to put this on the agenda. So I did. Mm -hmm. I'm not re I can't read this at the meeting. I mean, I would like to be able to digest this letter well, from I the just, coalition. Well, I wait, just got this, this afternoon. Could you please so let me finish? I printed it out because I asked you what right. you asked last time. Right, but I think we need, from, we need to have a, I don't want to say rule, but I think we need to see this stuff in advance instead of handing it out at the meeting. If you ask to put something on the agenda, I think it has to have the supporting 
or the documentation to go in the packet. Because when I put something on the agenda, there's always something in the packet. I mean, I didn't this even is, think we had a packet this week. Well, we really didn't. But we would have if you had given me this. I would have made sure everybody got it because nobody gets to see it until sitting here at the meeting and it's hard to digest. And this is the first time I've ever heard anything like we have to send our things for approval past the coalition. I'm just. I mean, it's, it's what, four paragraphs? Do I we, mean, excuse me, Madam yes. Chair, do we have to send everything to the coalition? We don't have to, but it's a service that we're paying for. We're using CPA funds to pay for that service, so why not use it? Right, especially this is our first go around. Yeah. Why wouldn't we have them review the, just to make sure we've done everything correctly? And, and, and I don't think. Our, is it within our documents someplace that we, we're supposed to send it to the? No, but it's oh, okay. a service so that the, they provide, the and I mean we it's... we didn't do that before we approved it is because it's not in here. Right. Okay. Just I'm just trying to find it, and I can't find it. That's why I'm asking. Well, we never discussed it. We never yeah. discussed sending our wasn't applications part of the to the coalition. Step. Right. Right, but this is our first go around. You'd think that we'd want to get everything done, you know, right. That's Madam all. Chair, we would have to add that into our timeline, which we didn't do. I know. Right. So. But that's that was my point with coming up with like a process. Well, his, yeah, well so his we letter, have... right. But his letters is specific to something that's not really part of what we are doing. No, three, he's just giving three. an example. I I'm understand. not saying that any of yeah. our projects would fail the criteria, but right. I'm just saying as as going forward as a process to put in place so that it's not missed or we don't have something that goes through through this committee, through a town meeting, and then <laughs> is kicked back saying Sorry, but it's not, you know, not going to be funded. So, is it is it appropriate for us to ask for that now, before the time? I don't think so. I think that's why I would like to come up with a process for going ahead, going forward. That's why for the agenda item, it was, you know, a process for accepting future projects. So not, I'm not talking about these projects. I'm saying for the future, come up with a process. So that we're not looking back saying, uh oh, we should have used the coalition. We paid so for that we, service. So. Sham, we have the authority to uh, revise our plan, right? Yes. Our every plan year. can be revised. So maybe we need to have like either an annual revision set on a schedule or yeah, something. Yeah, every like year that. I think we would. Um, like next year we'll add the projects that we did. And if we want to, going forward, if we want to do that, well, we'll also have to need to set new dates for applications as well. So then when we move on to the next year, we'll doesn't change look at anything. it again. Does it doesn't change anything? Well, the part about the checklist, we should have had a checklist mm -hmm. and gone over the checklist. Because we worked hard on picking all the criteria and yeah. the checklist. We didn't have it in our packet, though. Right? Yeah, no. No, we didn't. I think it was discussed at the May 5th meeting. Mm -hmm. right. But we don't have those minutes, I don't think. Right. But it's our first year, and this is the, right, and that's the growth what, process. Right, so that's, I mean, that's my point that maybe we should have had the coalition look at these applications just to make sure that we did everything proper and correct. I wouldn't want to say that every project moving forward goes through the coalition. No, no, I'm just saying the yeah. first year we probably should have done that. It's something we could have considered. I don't, I don't know if I would have even agreed to that. I just think we are an independent committee. I mean, you know, I mean, unless there's some sort of um, reason to yeah. understand, let's say it's a complicated budget, you know, more than just the example in this letter of furniture. Right. So, so it is a complicated budget, and there's things that we're not entirely sure may be reimbursable or not. I mean, I think that's wise to send that and, and get their opinion. I mean, again, it's an opinion yeah. you can follow, but um, you know, it's fine. We could do a project by project. Mm -hmm. yeah. This seems really complicated. Let's <clears throat> send it by for a review or yep. and the whatever. Three, but three not. We had this year were pretty straightforward and pretty simple, but you know, moving forward, you may, who knows what you're going to get. So. 
I do think requesting the budget is a good point. Itemized budget in each mm -hmm. application and us using the checklist mm -hmm. is a good idea. And yeah. what, so the, um, under the second item, review step two application for completeness, one of the bullet points I said is discuss at, uh, adding check boxes to the list of requirements, uh, required backup documentation. Mm -hmm. So we have, you know, the required attachments like if we put a checkbox, that way they know that you're supposed to be checking these off, not just, you know, this is if, if it if it applies, because that it says applicable. Yeah, well, because some of those things, you know, clearly weren't applicable to the applications we had this year. But me, <coughs> well, right. But still, to have a checkbox, I think it kind of makes them think, oh, well, maybe I need to provide these things. So, I'm just trying to think where in the process of the year are we going to work on the plan for next year where we do these things? It would be after we have an, an, a public hearing and invite the public again. So we'd have a public hearing, get input, and then we'd revise the plan. So basically, he wanted more details about the applications for completeness. I just, I just thought a process. Like if we come up with a process, maybe we include it in our plan. That way we have, you know, something for this committee even to go off of. Yeah. Like, like I said, if members change and, and people aren't familiar with the process, that, that we have something to reference. This is what you do. You know, this is the process for okay. any project. Check, check for yeah, just when we update our plan every year, does that call for a public hearing every time it we does. just yeah. update our if, plan? If we're, if we're gonna update the plan, if, we, if there's no reason to update the plan, then that that is, I believe that's. We're supposed to have a public hearing every year yeah, anyways, the main, regardless. The main charge is to hold a public hearing public hearing once, once a year, year to garner, you know, people's opinions. What is how they want to use their use funds. It, how they want to use the funds. So we worked on that checklist. We didn't specific we didn't have the size of a project to go over every piece of it. Um, if we, shouldn't we be giving it a chance because we worked for a whole year putting that plan together and we didn't probably, util maybe we didn't use it, utilize it like we should have. So why aren't we giving it another chance? If we made an error and not using the checklist, then why aren't we going to try? We worked a whole year on putting that all together. I'm not saying throwing it out. I'm right. literally just saying we didn't use it possibly adding correctly a, you know a box next to well I don't think we even discussed the fact that we were going to check everything right. off I think we put this didn't we please please attach the following with the understanding these three things had to come into step one yeah and then on the back of step two mm -hmm. page 26 there's a whole checklist here of all the things that people were supposed required attachments as a principal so we didn't we check I looked at everything. I thought everything was there. Yeah, I, I don't think we formally did it as a group and said yes. We well, we were going to do a rating yeah. system and all of that. Yeah, as well. I thought right. we had mm -hmm. created a checklist for yeah. us. So we that did. We yeah, that's the when all the projects right. came in. I kind of checked it against what you required. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, so I, think we, I think we all did. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I think but we all did it individually. We didn't go over it as a group, but I think individually. Well, I think if anybody had seen any holes in any of the applications, we would have said it at oh, step it one, yeah. mm -hmm. and then especially at step two, because we had allowed them to go to the second step. Right. So are we going to do this at step one or step two in the future? What was your thinking? Um, the process? I think it would just be something to reference as we reviewed the projects, you know, from the get-go, I guess. You know, utilize the checklist. To begin with, we did that <coughs> step one. Yeah. And then we decided that they qualified. qualified. Mm -hmm. They went to step two. 
Now, are we doing another checklist? And so step for the two? step two, I would just say, you know, for the, on that page 26, yeah. the required attachments, yes, it says cost proposals slash estimates, but we didn't get any proposals or estimates. Because well, not always did they have the contractors in place to give those quotes. Uh, you don't have to have a contractor in place. You can still get a quotation. You have an estimate, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so well, an estimate from the engineer was $25,000. Right. So but we it wasn't it. attached we as a piece yeah, of paper. On yeah. this letterhead. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I understand. It was, it because he didn't have it in, documented. Correct. Right. Okay, and it was hearsay. All right, I, I understand. So maybe it needs to be documented before we go to town meeting. Mark? Um, no. I mean, at this point, you've already supported, submitted those applications for town meeting. So, I mean, those, but I think just moving forward, even for rough estimates, you'll want to, um, to do that. So. But we can't do this at this point. This is all approved and going forward. Yeah. I, I think, the other I issue think is that it all, it, there are all three town departments that actually applied. Mm -hmm. Cemetery right. Commission, Historical, and Parks. Park. Park. So, I mean, it's not like we have a private entity out there who's doing anything. It's all mm -hmm. us. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. I think if it was a private entity, we probably, probably no, would have been. That we are all, it's all town government. Um, right. Well, the contractor is, but the cemetery commission is actually the ones who put it in, so it is that's a town entity. Yeah. Cemetery right. commission, yes. Yeah. But it, they have to hire somebody to do right. it, and that was their choice. It's just like the the person who did the um, thing for the historical commission was already involved with. The evaluation of things through, I believe, the um, grant from Jamass Historical too. So we just piggybacked on that. So that so and and, and on the follow up, when it starts happening, all those things that we had run by Todd that have to happen is that's when that comes in. It also has to be documented, right? Bill of lading or whatever, right? So that kind of happens. So even if they did an estimate of the $25,000 as the project goes, they're going to have to come to us at each step with all that documentation. That's what we're keeping an eye on, or that's what Mark would be keeping an eye on. But you really should have a comparison to go off of. Is this matching what you had in the beginning, too? So Because you're not going to have anything to compare it to. You're just going to be now blindly... You know, we we could that. be asked at the town meeting what is the detail of the proposal right. for the mm -hmm. gravestones, the detail of the proposal for the roof. Mm -hmm. We could be asked that. So it might, it, I don't think it would hurt us to go back and say, can you get that cost estimate? Go back and pull it out of the application. Actually. Well, it's not in here, though. No. So we would have to go back to, say, Cemetery Commission and say, can you provide us with a specific cost estimate? on the letterhead of the entity that will be doing the work. And it doesn't have to be whoever does the work, but just a, just an estimate showing that this is the going right. Yeah. That's reasonable. And it's really for us and for us to have this information and for future knowledge, but also to be able to answer questions if we need to. Yeah. So I don't do we really need to change anything in the plan to do that? No, I think no. I think everything is outlined. We just didn't pay didn't, attention yeah, exactly. to the detail right. of getting a written formal, document. A formal which, detail. Right. right. If right. we had that formal checklist, yeah. we would have right. maybe picked up on that. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, it's but, our first year. Right. Well, it covers us to do the right thing. Yeah. What, did we intend to use this page 16 and 17 in the plan, the general evaluation criteria when we're reviewing projects? Yes, but I think we all did. That I, was what was used. 
to make this checklist yeah. that Kathy yeah. came up with for us. Right. Okay, so that's right. yes. the same information. Right. Yes, okay. It was duplicated. Okay. Right. So. so we would should have had this passed out with when we were going over the process. Good point. Yeah, we yeah. probably yeah. should just going right. forward keep it with right. every application should okay. come with yeah. one of those. All right. Mm -hmm. It's a good point. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But I think we all individually, I know I was, went and looked, I think we all kind of looked at it individually, we just didn't do the, just like, you know, having the documentation that we didn't actually do right. it. Yeah, and I'm not saying that, yeah, it. obviously it's fresh in our minds, we just completed the plan, but that may not always be the case. You're right, you're right. Yeah, and we have something to go back on if, if it's documented. Yeah, yeah. So are we gonna take a vote on this? So I think we should have, so thinking about town meeting, I think we should have a packet at town, to go out at town meeting. A packet for? A handout? Not a, yeah, a handout, not a packet. <laughs> don't Please. Want to <laughs> want people to pay attention. Um, like a brief description yeah. of each proposal. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Would cost estimate. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like a one paragraph description of what this this article will do mm -hmm. next. So we can do the same thing for this. You know, you have three proposals. The first proposal will do X, mm -hmm. just like we just described in front of <coughs> the committee. We can describe what the, the short little paragraph about what the proposal is and how much they're looking for so if they can match it up to the, to the article because the article is just a you know to raise you know to is the article going to be all three lumped into one uh i believe so mm -hmm. but as usual you can put a hold on one and have a separate discussion about it so so potentially they could vote for all the whole package or say no to the whole package instead of doing them separately unless they do a hold yeah So, do we have, an, we want to have another meeting before town meeting, so we see what's going out in case we want to add or subtract something mm -hmm. to it. So, uh, town meeting's November 13th. Right. Right? So, do we want to meet at the beginning of November or at the end of October? Say end of October. Yeah. End of October. Uh, let's see. Tuesday, Halloween is on <laughs> Tuesday, or November 2nd, that's election day, we can't. We could get dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Everything will be printed by then, right? By November 7th. How about the 24th of October? October 24th, it's uh, the second, fourth, I have a con con here. What day of the week is that? Tuesday. Tuesday. 26th. I mean, what are, what days? We've board. always had trouble in the past. What days this time are good for everybody? I can't do Thursdays in okay. the evening. So we've been doing well on a Tuesday. Yeah. So the 17th. Because everything will not be printed by then, probably. So, so we can review it beforehand. That's probably a better idea. The seventeenth. Yeah. So October seventeenth. How's everybody looking on that? That's good. That's a Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we writing up the one paragraph description for each project, or? Does the planning, no, does the town do that? Well, we'll write it up. Well, I if, mean, if, if you want, or I'll work with Nancy or Nancy. Yeah, and then we'll bring it to the meeting on the 17th so everybody can approve it or not, or add or subtract, or, oh, how about this? Look at okay, it. so we all can have input. <laughs> yeah. All right. What time? 6.30? 
Back, back to, to six thirty. Back to six thirty. Is that all Doesn't right? Doesn't matter to me. Six thirty or seven, but, uh, which is it? Sue had asked for seven because of the summer and her job, so we had gone to seven for the summer, but we're going to October so we can go back to six thirty if that's okay, okay with everybody. Yeah. agenda please get me the supporting stuff so that I can put it in the packet okay I will do as, okay. as best I can but like I said this came in this afternoon I wasn't even at work I couldn't even print it I asked you to print it so okay. I brought it in like you asked oh, okay Anybody else having? Oh, we got out the minutes. We have to approve the minutes. Well, so what about the process, though? Are we not? going to come up with a process for reviewing applications? Well, we're going to use the checklist that yeah. we all worked on. So just yeah. the checklist? Well, we'll just take it out of the plan, copy yeah. it, and put little boxes for the checklist. I think that's very complicated. And, and make sure that we do the details. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, but what about the... Co so my people coming in, they may not understand that the coalition offers it as a service to review our projects. Are I'm we going to just pay for that service and never utilize it? Well, no. we might utilize it. We in might the utilize it. We could utilize it. But so we are we are aware of it, but maybe going forward, new members aren't going to be aware of it. Well, so that would be <laughs> my thought with the process. Um, and how would you make them aware? You, you're so, going like to if there is a process that we put in place, that uh, well, well here's the thing: is that Kathleen needed help, so she called the coalition. I think mm -hmm. that we vote on paying the dues every year. I think that anybody on the committee is going to be aware that the coalition is there, for, that we're paying for, and their advice. So mm -hmm. I don't think it has to be. It, it, Excuse me, Madam Chairman. Yes. Chairperson. Uh, is one person going to contact the coalition? Are you saying that everybody contacts the coalition for whatever? Well, here's the thing is that Kathleen, we asked Kathleen to do the CP3 last time because Kathleen did a really excellent job on the survey. So we thought that was in her wheelhouse. And so we put her in charge of that and she was having trouble. So she called the coalition okay. for help. So I think the same thing with Michelle was she had questions. looking online and said that that was a service they provided, so she brought it to so the committee. But I don't think we need to designate a person. Put it in the plan. I mean, I I, I don't know about the plan, but I think oh, yeah. awareness mm -hmm. is very important. Yes, it is. Kathy. So if you have the criteria in front of it for each project and you're going through it, why not just an extra line at the bottom? Does this project require a review by the coalition? And I like that. You can decide right there. Oh, there that's, you go. That's that's nice. I like that. Good enough yeah. to me. Good idea, oh, Kathy. Oh, you're, you're on top of the game. <laughs> on the, so on the application, you say? No, on the, cri the, the criteria list. list, which now I'm, you know, I'm already thinking. So every time you get the project, we'll put that right on top. So as you're reviewing it, you can go right through it and right at the bottom to add that. Yeah, I mean, it may be like, like the cemetery one thing to pay a contractor to come in and fix some stone so there's not a question about um, cost not eligible and that type of thing but you might have something with 10 different pieces to it and that one you may you know want to discuss and go yeah well we have a question about a couple of these things and let's let's get somebody else's opinion still doesn't mean you have to follow along but it, it might be a helpful, helpful thing, so. Then if, if so how should we, how do not, we say it again? So if we're going to vote on it. I wouldn't use the word require. Right, I, I wouldn't either. That's why I was trying to think should, of it. Should this project be reviewed by the coalition? I mean, mm -hmm. as simple as that. 
or should it be sent to them for review? Reviewable by coalition. Say again. Reviewable by coalition. Question mark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any open questions that need coalition input? Should this project be reviewed by coalition? Yeah. So if you have a yes or no listed there, then it would eliminate any questioning that we didn't actually yeah. review that fact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll move to add, should this project be reviewed by coalition to our general evaluation criteria checklist? checklist. <laughs> Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Are you yeah, coming to all our meetings? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was relatively easy after all. Are we going to talk about CPA signs? Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. Signs identifying CPA funded projects. That, I don't remember who brought it up. I thought it was you, Paula, but oh, it was Nancy. Um, at the Soul Farm in Middleborough is, has received a CPA uh, project that was approved at town meeting to do repairs to the farmhouse. And they have a sign this big that says, it has the seal of Middleborough on it, it says something like, this is a Middleborough supported CPA project. Or so it's just one of those like yeah, stick in the ground like type of run thing. Up the selectman kind of a sign. But I think yeah. I have seen, traveling around Massachusetts, I have seen huge eight eight foot plywood sheets eight, you know huge ones that had a lot of more information and kinds of photographs or pictures or something so it's on the coalition website they have like a whole page with all different towns that have signs different types of signs that they've put at different projects and like you said some are huge like monuments and these are not little projects either these are Tremendous size. Right, project. like housing. The amount of money that was listed on the uh, right. signage. So, how big do you want the sign to be? Well, I don't know if it, some of it has to do with they might have had a little sign to begin with, and maybe when the project got underway, then they would, because you have to wait for town meeting, you can't have the sign made before the town approves it. Right. So, um, it might be something that you have this little thing that goes in the ground after town meeting, and then when they start actually doing something, people say, What's going on here? You have a bigger sign. So how about if we um, bring some examples to our meeting October 17th? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. well, some communities spend like a lot of, you know, a lot of money <laughs> doing a four by eight foot sign, and whether it's funded through CPA or other grant projects. Right. I mean, I've been in communities where I've had to do it. It's like required. <laughs> it's um, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, there's like 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks right there. And so, I mean, I, I like the idea after thinking about it, because Nancy mentioned it the other day, and I was like, yeah, those little signs. But those little signs, you, you pre-make a bunch of them, and then at each project site, they have to put up one or two, and and uh, they're inexpensive enough that if they fade or get damaged, you can give them another one to put up. Um, I, you know, I think we ought to work on the design to get something attractive and make sure it's big enough so it's visible from the street, and you know, and and whether they're you know um, a little nicer than the. the the, the I'm running for selectman signs, <laughs> but <laughs> but I think I think a standard sign rather than having custom made signs for every project um, would would be useful in having you I know. I thought we could get a few. So, Who so made the, the sign for the future? elementary school? Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, there's a big sign there about the window project. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I'm not involved in the window project. <laughs> <laughs> but, also, but someone did the sign. Yes, yeah. I mean, I can find out. Uh, who That's a big sign. sign. But do you want a second mm -hmm. step set with a little yeah, sign, that, and then as the project mm -hmm. go, yeah. moves forward, a bigger sign? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're... No, I, I think there's, we should just order, you know, 
one big sign. A medium size sign, yeah, okay. okay, that that we get order multiple of, so it's cost effective, and we can reuse them for different projects right. as time goes one, on. You know, those ones you stick in the ground can be made, either, if they're a little bigger, but they can be made better. I have a volunteer that would do it in wood, which that it would stay in the ground, pounded it in, and it would stick up a little higher. So, yeah, so the wind wouldn't take it. Yeah, because those little ones are all so flimsy, Bob. Make a wood frame for it with a stake, and then it's going to stay there, and it's going to stick up a little higher because those are so low on the ground. Those little signs, you just have to those read. Wires are crazy. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll get some information on some signage and rough costs and something, stuff something like that. More like almost like a monochromatic, like maybe metal on a, on a wooden stake that looks nice mm -hmm. instead of like a plastic. Yeah. Red and white. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Something no. yeah. you know, but tasteful. Yeah. We, I mean. And I'm 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 okay with something small because I think when we were campaigning, we I was in Yarmouth. I'm like, look at this. And, mm. You know, Yarmouth had just a little one that said, you know, this park was funded by CTA. Uh, you know, Yarmouth CTA funds. Right. Now sometimes they have permanent, permanent plaques. Right. Right. And that's different than. Oh, we're talking about temporary. I'm talking yeah. about during Just, construction. Uh, during construction. Yeah, so people projects. Know so the people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were I mean, just talking about temporary. Yeah. That's why I say the plastic ones would be fine with a frame on them and a stake. Excuse well. me. Is this going to be a generic, so that if the park wasn't, if, if it wasn't at the John Pond Park, then. You could use it for right, and everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere, okay. Yeah. So it would be a ge generic signage, okay. So we'll bring examples to mm -hmm. our October seventeenth meeting, and then we can look at a few different designs and colors and whatever we think is. Yeah, I mean, I don't know whether you want to require permanent signs. I've seen plaques though on buildings. That yeah, say I mean buildings. sometimes. Yeah, right. it depends on what the project is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that get expensive when you start doing plaques? But could you put that on the applicant rather than on well, a yeah. Yeah. Usually it's an administrative cost of the grant okay. program and and usually those you're talking like lots of money. You know, the window project is huge grant that the town received in order to do that so it's a, it's a very small item yes it costs more than what we're talking about right but, but if we did like a big affordable housing project or something mm -hmm. you'd right. want a plaque you'd want the, something right. yes and massive store mm -hmm. they require it right, right. i think the they uh, did too yeah I think yeah. So. yeah many of the grant programs particularly through mm -hmm. the Is state it require possible? it um, excuse me is it possible that the contractor might give us a sign as part of the contract? Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't know until you ask. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, we had to do that at Tamarack Park. I remember we had like one day a guy was coming down to get the signs up and there. That's how it got named Tamarack Park instantaneously. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who did that? The, the, uh, the contractor or you? Or the Reader and I did it. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Just a thought. It, you know, might be something you might want to add to the contractor's estimate. And if he wants, wins the contract, would he be willing to give us a sign, I don't know, two by three feet or whatever dimension? You'd be surprised. Yeah, but then you, you rely yeah, on them yeah. with the design and all. We mm, want all ours right. to be, so people recognize that if all our signs are the same, people are going to recognize that sign, so it's after they've seen it once, they drive by and see another one just like it. They're like, oh, that's another PPA project without having an accident looking at the sign. Right. <clears throat> no, it's just a thought. Let's try to save us some money. Okay. All right. So we'll have examples at our next meeting. All right. So the minutes.
these minutes are still, like, are these any different from the first? No, we and I here? don't remember, to tell you the truth, what the problem was the first time so around, but I asked Lillian about these minutes, and she said they were appropriate. Is it? So yes. even though they don't match what the select board approved and posted for minutes? Right. I thought they are supposed to match. I asked Lillian, and she different? said these were fine. I don't, what's different about them? That the buttons meeting went on further. It's just not the same. Yeah, I mean, they don't, if, if they were taken by somebody else, as long as they represent the same discussions and the same votes and the same That's fine. people present. Yeah, like I said, I asked Lillian. Okay. So, motion? To approve these minutes. <laughs> Second. <laughs> I, I have to abstain. Right. Not a member. So, okay. Do we have to abstain? It says you are. Oh, no, absent. Yep. Yep. You're right. Um, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. meeting October 17th at 6.30 p.m.